he's such a well-rounded person. He's such a lovable human being. I'm not gonna lie, this kid is just the funniest person to be with in a Honestly. carpool, in a carpool, in an Airbnb. Like, I, I have this. It's this nonstop laugh whenever Charlie is around. And of course, the man flexing the shirt and flexing the chud junk is gonna be Con Con. I haven't seen this man in a hot minute, but I know the semester is over for him. I know he still goes to university, so he's out there, uh, out, out here flexing the fact that he's able to come back to tournaments. Oh man, he is he is he is flexing a lot. I will, I will give you that. He is. Not he is not shy to you know suns out guns. Yeah, that I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Suns out. The sun is not even out. <laughs> the, the, the sun's gone. <laughs> the sun is gone. At the sun this is hour. gone, bro. <laughs> it, it is like 11 o'clock here on the West Coast. The sun is gone at the 11 p.m. Sun is gone over the entire nation of the United States yeah. of America. Hey, man, it's 2 a.m. If you're watching from East Coast, by the way, I want to see you in chat because y'all like <laughs> y'all crazy if you're still watching this. Yeah. Oh, shout outs to the East Coast. So shout outs. I always give them a shout out. Shout outs to House 3000. Such a great stream, great tournament uh, that they always able to put streams for. Great players out there. Shout outs to Ajax. He was out here for the OC Goodwill Invitational. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a, that was an amazing event, by the way. Oh uh, yeah. Shout outs to Lux for running the event. Yeah. Uh, pretty good friend of mine. We just put out a podcast together. But enough about our podcast. Go ahead and talk about what the real power here is: Con Con versus Charlie. And of course, that is flipped. Charlie has elected to go ahead and take his talents to Wolf over Fox in this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, Charlie's just mentioned, you know, before about this character. He's just said, like, look, Wolf can just do whatever you want him to do, and therefore that makes him fun. He's like a, the sandbox RPG of characters in this game. Oh, yeah. You have a job you need a character to do? Hey, Wolf's got your back. But He, he feels like the, the cleaner, right? Like that yeah. dirty hitman you hire when you need someone something out of the trash. Yeah, he can. He's a he's a versatile man to fit any situation. But meanwhile, Konkon sticking with the same character he played in Smash Four, and it is Oof. a character that will simply do one thing, and that is dominate your stock and uh, destroy it quickly. But yeah, same goes in reverse, sort of like a little Max situation where it's like I'll take your stock immediately, but you can also take mine immediately. Exactly. And right there, Charlie was able to recover from that though because Kong Kong's hurt box was actually out there enough for Wolf to extend himself up to the ground, uh, ledge and grab. Oh, sneaky little down tilt there, Charlie. What's in there? I like it. Immediately moving in for the tech chase. What's Con Con's tech chase option there? Trying to go oh for a directional air lodge landing. Gonna pay the price. Oh, he gets stuck in the stage, but he does get ready for that tech. Yeah. Have to be. He got darted in there, but he knew, like, hold up. He might go in for a back air. He might as well. Oh, oh my you gosh, Charlie, what are you doing? Yo, man. It, Char Charlie <laughs> knows I don't have to wear a muscle shirt to flex. <laughs> somebody, I don't need to. Somebody bring this man to the emergency room, dude. He's <laughs> sick. He's so sick. I'll take this trade, man. That's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take I'll take my shiny charge. I'll take your shiny charge, and I'll give you the classic Kakuna. Okay. <laughs> classic Kakuna, man. All right. Well, Melee goes understands the landing. That's one thing that sometimes Con Con and Luigi mains like to go for. They like to land with tornado. And you got to be careful with no. that one. Oh, this might have been big. You got to be you got to be careful charging any sort of smash attack against a character like Luigi. Not necessarily because he's a zone breaker, but just because of how hard he can hit. Charlie does it twice. Are you kidding me? Why, why, are you, why are you still on point to how hard he can hit? He just died right there. Like, Charlie said, hey, I see you right there, man. Don't worry. I'll hit him hard. <laughs> Charlie said to me, like, oh, man, I don't, I don't feel like I might win today. And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, you liar. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have no clue if I, if, I, if I heard you correctly earlier because that just looked like something from another dimension. Yeah. Actually, it's kind of funny. Every time I see Charlie, his hair grows just a little bit more. The kid's been growing out his hair. I actually like it when he puts it in a ponytail. He's usually he's asking me like, How do, uh, "What should I do with my hair?" I was like, "Just put it in a ponytail." It's Charlie with a beanie. Every now and then he likes to look like Shine. Every now and then Shine's another player here in SoCal. Yeah. All right. Well, this is my least favorite stage. What I like to call a worst version of Smashville. But enough about my bias here. We'll see what bias falls to Concon here. He's able to push his man off the stage. Get the yep. corner to himself. Interesting that Charlie was able to make it back there through all of that. That was a perfectly angled Firewolf. And now, yeah, holding away is the only smart thing to do because Luigi can only go so far with that, let's be real, pitiful aerial drift. <laughs> it is very pitiful, but with that drift, you can mix up a lot of good aerials. You are able to get zero to death with grab, down throw at certain percents. So it does a little work in the combos aspect, but I mean, when it comes when you're trying to land, man, it's not the best one you have. Ooh. Tech there from Kong Kong. He'll go for a low recovery. And Charlie's still getting aggressive off stage, not letting Kong Kong breathe, even in these terrifying situations. I'm telling you, man, you don't want to let the guy flex with the muscle shirt. Just let him know, man. This ain't no muscle beach. This is where the real kids play. Oh my gosh, he gets oh, stuck on stage. Did Charlie. I think Charlie went for a footstool. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he tried to go for it. 
Still that up tilt, an excellent anti-air to cover anything that Kong Kong would have had since Charlie had all of that invincibility. So we're back to even here going into stock two, and that's a little bit different on the story going from game one. Mm -hmm. Kong Kong looking to keep this a little bit closer now, especially with the stage a little bit more in favor. You are able to dart yourself on the on the stage itself, so that's one thing that Kong Kong also have. But it's also how small the blast zones are. You're able to kill your opponent a little bit early. It works in tangent for Charlie as well. Ooh, but Charlie now using that forward smash to get him off stage. This time, just going to go straight for the down air. And even oh. though he won't make it back, that's a stock he'll take after all that damage Kong Kong built on him. Yeah. It does kill a little bit of momentum as well, right? Kong Kong felt a little bit more confident with how that stock was going, and immediately Charlie said, fine, we can go reset this down to zero, and I can get a little bit more advantage here. But Kong Kong with the corner carry, Charlie comes back. And now on top of that platform, on, uh, above Wolf is not where you want to be, but... You know, that goes the same for Wolf above Luigi. That platform has been such a turning point for both of these guys. Okay, I love that fake pressure there from Charlie. Konkong might have thought that he had an uh, aerial to parry, but instead, it's an empty land. <laughs> Just an empty land? I like it. Okay, faking that jump onto the platform, and now as he falls back down... It's a fight underneath the plat. Up smash not going to come out. The Nair contests it perfectly, and Kong Kon has an edge guard to pick up. Let's see Ooh. if the Poltergust is almost able to pick it up. I mentioned it earlier, right? A lot of those Luigi mains love to go for the tornado at the ledge. Charlie with the great Ooh. guy back throw. This might that, be No, it won't do it. Luigi's nope. heavy. Yep. Luigi is actually heavy, and it makes no sense to me, but you saw it right there. Hey, man, I'm a tall man. I, I know I weigh more than 100 pounds. <laughs> oh, but that will not weigh more than 100 pounds. Charlie with the desperate DI still surviving and the desperation to come back on the stage. No, it's stale, dude. It's stale. Oh. And Charlie with an excellent angle to sweet spot the ledge. Oh, Up tilt misses because of the slant. And DI will save him again. Yo, man, stale moves will definitely be there taking down points from that tornado. Charlie gets back on the stage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> One whiffed grab. Yeah. <laughs> but like, Kong Kong's like, I don't know what that last stock was, but something happened and it worked out for me, <laughs> so I'll take it. Man, he takes a little smile of that, takes a drink of the chug jug, flexes the muscles he unnecessarily. Chug like. jug. <laughs> Can you imagine if you actually heard that? Like, every time you play uh, Fortnite, like... <laughs> <laughs> the way you said it, it's was giving so away my position. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be worse. <laughs> It'll be so funny. You just hear chug chug every time. Anyways, <laughs> Charlie with some thought alongside with Con Con, probably giving himself some inner thoughts, just keeping himself psyched in the game. Kind of saw him blow off a little bit of steam there. Takes a sip of the water, some of Larry's secret stuff. <laughs> Man, I gotta say, I mean, especially coming off of that game on Yoshi's Island, it can be so frustrating to play on that stage, especially when you're just so used to executing a very simple and clean game plan the way that Charlie does. Oh, definitely, And, yeah. you know, and, and Charlie has such a long, extended combo game, even against a character like Luigi with that frame three nair, that a stage like Yoshi's Island is going to mess up your groove a whole lot, and Kong Kong took full advantage of it. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's just the worst Smashville. I don't know why we have it, but... And T for another day. All right now, Charlie's sipping on this tea that he's looking to get against Con Con. Doing a pretty good job landing a little bit more neutral That's something we didn't really see so much in the last game. He was going to get, he didn't get many tech Ooh. chase options as well. Sets up the back guy, Con Con off the stage, misfire in play, and he's able to survive. But you know what? Careful when you get up from the stage because that up smash will scoop you up. Mm -hmm. That can cover a whole lot to roll. You know, neutral get up and even a jump from ledge in some situations with poor aerial drift from Luigi. I believe that that is a very safe option. Yeah. Ooh, but unsafe on that shield with that back air. It wasn't auto-canceled. wasn't a sweet spot either. I like it. A little bit of a fake out. Trying to make sure Kong Kong is not going to be ready for that back air. Careful when you go down that low. That tornado might flush you out still. <laughs> Kong, Kong, Kong Kong saw the opportunity. He was like, look, I could toss out my down air right now. I could even this. But Charlie, <laughs> able to make it back and able to take that first stock here. The first answer is how do I get down and how do I keep myself... From yeah. falling off stage because that is where Kong Kong has been giving him fits. Oh, you gotta watch out that hitbox from that wolf fire. Sticks out there at the ledge. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Might catch a slipping Charlie with a little bit of defense here on the ledge. He knows Kong Kong is gonna be coming in hot. I love that fake cross up there that Kong Kong did with that Nair on the shield too because Charlie would have had to have assumed that Kong Kong wanted to get some stage position, mm -hmm. wanted to, you know, try to try to hold center stage a little bit, but instead opting right back to the ledge put him at frame advantage. My goodness, up smash not quite going to kill. It's not that strong of a move. I still like it, though, making sure that, hey, Conkon, if you want to come on the platform, fine, fine. I will punish you for it. You may not die, but just know that I'm trying to eliminate you from feeling comfortable for going for this option. Oh, back, back throw? throw? Mm. 
Okay. Will do, even with... <laughs> Look, like, Smash 40, I like, hold on, man, let me take, like, 30 seconds uh, yeah. to get to the blast zone. <laughs> Dude, I, mean, I, can't, I can't watch back the footage. Like, I know that I know that Charlie still has a soft spot for that game, but I look back at it, and it's like, it takes 30 seconds for somebody to die, like you said. I had a soft spot for what was only Charlie's bail. That was about <laughs> it. Everything else could stay in the trash, man. I know. Oh, my God. Ooh. He clicked with the tornado hitbox. Yo, man, move is still busted. <laughs> like, people wonder, like, why is Luigi nerfed? No, thank God Luigi's nerfed. That's a character that we always wonder why they never bother to patch out. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, my gosh. Still... Misfire, that would have been, like, a... dude, Galaxy. It would have been Galaxy, and so far, it's not the Galaxy of Kong Kong holds the world here. On the ledge, missed the ledge play here, going for the Ops match. Charlie now securing the landing. Yeah, Kong Kong wanted the sour spot on that neutral alert, but instead he got the middle hit, and so could not connect the Ops match. Afterwards, Oof. Charlie gives up so much stage! He wanted to go for the whiff punish, too, and it might have pushed him a little bit too far to the edge, but this time he takes it over Kong Kong here. So much stage that he lost there, looking for just a whiff punish, and he jumps out of his seat as well, looking to get away from the tornado. Dude, that air dodge away looked like a mosquito running away. I'm like, get back here, bro. <laughs> okay, down throw to down B, 50-50, not going to kill off the top. Charlie oh. has plenty of experience in how to DI that. Yeah, Charlie the master Ooh. of the eye, but no experience when this experience doesn't even matter to that cleanup smash. I like it. Walk up slowly <laughs> and just grab, but Con Con gets away. Yeah, Kong Kong was definitely noticing that Charlie, over the course of this set, has been really going for aggressive reversals back on the <clears> stage, and he was able to pick up that hit back, has a chance to get a big hit back oh. into the game, and upbeat Kong Kong with a big pop-off as he takes that last game in a huge, huge clutch moment. Yep, really clutch.